The triple threat drill is something that kind of culminates a lot of the training that we do at the, the CQB type distances. So for example, we're shooting at five yards right now. Yeah, that's close, but what we're trying to do is really push the speed. If you've got guys that are shooting way too fast, then back them off seven or 10, slow them down, get them to dial in their accuracy, and then move them up, and that should help speeding it up as well. The way the triple threat works is we use the VTAC targets. We've got the three center of gravity zones. We've got the pelvis, the heart, lung area, and we've got the head or the face of the target. With the triple threat drill, we're gonna shoot this with the rifle or with the pistol. It doesn't matter what you wanna shoot. You're required to shoot the first target is the center target. So we'll shoot the center target, then you'll shoot either the left or the right target. So three rounds to the chest, one round to the pelvis, one round to the head. As long as you shoot the chest first, you can shoot pelvis head or head pelvis, however you wanna do that. So three to the chest, one to the head, one to the pelvis. Drive your gun to the second target, three to the chest, one to the pelvis, one to the head. Drive your gun to the last target, three to the chest, one to the pelvis, or one to the head, one to the pelvis. Okay, that's what we're trying to accomplish here. The other thing that we're trying to accomplish is we're gonna tell you that any round that's outside of this gray line of these center of gravity zones, you get a zero. One round out of 15 rounds fired at the targets, you get a zero. Why do we do this? Why would we wanna push our shooters in that direction? We want to try to get them to shoot as fast as they can, but watch their sights. Okay, if guys are doing this, or training for this particular drill, obviously they probably have a job that requires them to make these tight shots when they need to. We're trying to put the shooters under some stress. We're going to put them on the timer. One round out, you get a zero. Okay, 3-1-1, 3-1-1, 3-1-1, the triple threat drill. Any questions? All right, Dan, get ready to shoot. Okay, the drill is triple threat. We got triple threat, so Dan's gonna shoot 311, 311, 311. Shooter ready. ready. Stand by. Okay, the time is 6.10. 6.10 to shoot three dudes, three times in the chest, one in the head, and one in the pelvis. All right, let's go down and score these targets. Dan had a 6.10. He's got three to the chest, one to the pelvis, one to the head, three to the chest, one pelvis, one head, three, one, one. Okay, watching him shoot, obviously he's done this a little bit. He's really snapping the gun. What we're trying to accomplish here is we don't want people shooting super fast and then slowing down as they move the gun. We want to shoot seeing our sights every single shot, then we're gonna snap the gun as quickly as we can. Once we're there, we stop, we reaffirm that we have the right sight picture and take the shot. Once he finished that, he followed through on that shot, he drove the gun to the head and so on. And that's what we're trying to accomplish. So we'll let him have another chance at it. Let's do it again. All right, time, 5.04, 5.04, we got three, one, one, three, one, one, three, whoa, one on the line, but we count the line, so we're gonna give it to him. Shot him right there in the bottom of the jaw, three, one, one. So the time, 5.04. So when you get ready to practice this, guys, we're trying to push it, 5.04, that's a great run. I think what you're gonna see on your home range when you try this with our targets, this is a difficult drill. So have at it, keep practicing it. If this is too easy, then start spreading the targets out. The farther you can spread the targets out, the better for driving your weapon.